We are going to talk about the latest around Jim Harbaugh and the NFL rumors that are now into day seven. But before we do, I want to ask you what you see on screen here. Help us get to 20,000 subscribers. The count is on the push to 20,000 subscribers. We're already the most watched. We're already the most subscribed, but 20,000 just seems a lot nicer of a number than 19,000 subscribers. So send this show to a uh, friend who loves Michigan football. If you've already subscribed and if you haven't, now is the time. It is rumors season, and we're going to talk about all the things going on with Jim Harbaugh coming up right now. It is Monday, midday on a Monday. They call it Black Monday in the NFL because of all the head coaches and GMs and just coaching staffs in general that will be decimated by firings and uh, NFL owners and general managers decided to move in a new direction with their coaching staffs and obviously sometimes their front office. Some news this morning out of the NFL. If you haven't seen it yet, the Chicago Bears, Minnesota Vikings, and very surprising, the Miami Dolphins, who won seven of their last eight games, have fired their head coaches as of today. So more teams possibly that hadn't fired the coach already, didn't have openings. Obviously, we thought the Bears were uh, probably a lock for that. Vikings, not that surprising. Dolphins, very surprising. We're going to talk more about that Dolphins opening here in a moment. But I want to know from you guys. Let's just put all of our cards out on the table. Will Jim Harbaugh be Michigan's football coach next season? 2022 season, less than eight months away. They kick off on September 3rd in the big house. Type Y for yes, type N for no. If you type N for no, of course, let me know where you think he'll end up. Uh, go down to the comments. Let me know Y for yes or N for no. A little bit of a wrinkle in this whole uh, coaching saga ordeal with Harbaugh came out yesterday on Fox's NFL pregame. Jay Glazer, who uh, you know puts a scoop out there about once every month or two, he says, I can tell you this, Jim Harbaugh has been calling around asking for people in case he gets an NFL job and if they would join this, his staff. He is interested in possibly returning to the NFL, folks. An interesting little nugget because uh, Scott Turner, who is uh, a former staffer, he was a uh, uh, a non-coach, but he was an offensive analyst for Michigan about four years ago. He put out a couple of interesting photos the other day or yesterday. He put out one of him in a Raiders uniform, one of his or jersey uh, coaching shirt, one of him in a Redskins, a Washington football team, I should say, polo shirt. And there's some speculation, well, hey, maybe he's one of these guys that are going with Harbaugh to the NFL. So keep an eye out for that one. Then I think he deleted the post. So just another just thing to keep an eye on. Maybe though that is one of those coaches that Jim Harbaugh co uh, called if what Jay Glazer said is in fact true. Now, some news this morning. The Miami Dolphins let go of their coach. And so Bruce Feldman, who was the first guy to really put out this story, if you recall, last Tuesday about Harbaugh looking in the NFL. I think it's real. Dolphins owner, a huge Michigan donor, uh, Raw School of Business, has donated uh, something like $300 million in the past uh, decade to the University of Michigan. I'm not going to be the person to take Jim Harbaugh from Michigan. He is a great coach. Okay, then you got Joe Shad, formerly of ESPN, who's now working for a newspaper down in South Florida. League source says Jim Harbaugh not lined up for the Dolphins and not coming to the Dolphins. The lined up thing says, hey, they wouldn't fire a coach who's had a pretty good track record uh, in Brian Flores if they didn't uh, have a coach already lined up that they were going to uh, pounce on once they made this firing. And then, Pro Football Talk, Mike Florio, some producers saying, uh, is that the guy we call woke loser on the office? No, no we're not going to talk about that right now. Uh, Pro Football Talk says Jim Harbaugh has indeed been talking to Stephen Ross, Dolphins owner, uh, Michigan's probably wealthiest alum or wealth, wealthiest active alum that you know about, but not about coaching Miami, about staying put at Michigan with a raise. Now, the article that uh, they linked to in that tweet that we'll talk about here in a second is a little misleading because... It's mostly talking about, well, hey, if he's talking to Ross, the money guy behind Michigan Athletics, Michigan's business school, etc., it must about be getting more cash in his own pockets. But I'm going a little different from what I have heard, right? It's not that he's talking to Stephen Ross or other Michigan boosters and donors about getting more of a salary for himself, but making sure that if he remains coach at Michigan in the future, that the changing landscape of college football, college athletics as a whole, around the transfer portal, not sitting out one year uh, to have to switch schools, and 
bringing on guys with assurances of name, image, and likeness, um, you know, guarantees, whether not through the school, but maybe through an an intermediary, is not a competitive disadvantage both from transfers and name, image, and likeness. That salary, that Jim Harbaugh's own personal salary, was much lower on the priority list because he knows if he continues to win, the money will be there for him. But he's not necessarily as convinced that Michigan will allow uh, the University of Michigan, the, uh, you know, the, the Board of Regents, the people who decide whether or not kids can get in or not get into college, whether as freshmen or as undergraduate transfers, if Michigan will be at a competitive disadvantage should uh, Harbaugh remain as the coach. If you can't go out and get uh, some of these guys, Eli Ricks, cornerback from uh, LSU, went to Alabama, uh, Caleb Williams. Freshman All-American level quarterback at Oklahoma. Now he's in the transfer portal. Michigan could potentially go after those guys, but it doesn't seem like they would in uh, the way things are uh, are shaking out right now. Talk about more about Michigan and their commitment to Jim Harbaugh here in a second. But tonight is the college football national championship game, folks. Surprisingly, to me at least, Georgia, who beat Michigan uh, by about three scores just uh, 10 days ago, they are the favorite by three points over an Alabama team that beat them by about three scores in the SEC title game. The over-under tonight is 52 and a half. If you want to put a little cash money on the line, go ahead and do it with our sports book partner, BetUS. The 125% deposit bonus has been extended. Continue to go on. Maybe it ends after tonight's game. I'm not sure. We'll see. Chatsports.com slash go blue. You use that link. It'll redirect you to BetUS, and you'll be tagged for that 125% deposit bonus promotion. All you got to do is type in the promo code go blue with your first deposit. 125% deposit bonus allows you to put in 100. You got an extra 125, 200, extra 250, and on and on from there. Go ahead and get started with BetUS. Chatsports.com slash go blue. What I think is going on here is I do think there is some interest in Harbaugh in the NFL for real. And he has put out some feelers, clearly. Jade Glazer said with other potential staffers, Harbaugh himself were through intermediaries to a few select franchises. And in a lot of ways, it's probably more or less a power play to get the uh, uh, the talks with Michigan more in his favor. Want to make sure they are committed. He wants to go and say, look, Ohio State and Georgia and Alabama and Clemson And Oklahoma, these are schools that are committed. Texas, University of Texas now, giving $50,000 to every offensive lineman. We're not going to be able to uh, compete with these schools going forward into the future unless we can play the same game as them. Imagine if you're an NFL franchise and you can't, you don't have a first round draft pick for three years, you know, for, for the first three rounds, or you can't sign guys at the max in free agency. Uh, you're, you're limited by that. It's basically what baseball uh, was for a number of years, about 20 years ago, when the Yankees just got everybody. Harbaugh doesn't want to be at a competitive disadvantage. He's going to stay with Michigan. It's going to be his last job. He'll probably be in the role another 10 plus years, and he wants to win a national title. The way things shake out right now, what Michigan did this year is likely the peak of what they can accomplish unless they can go after those high-value transfers or you know, get top three, four, five recruiting classes by having a name, image, and likeness uh, financial program for these recruits. All right, so want to talk a little bit more about the open jobs and where things are going to shake out and really what yesterday did to this whole process. If you didn't see last night, one of the crazier NFL games I've ever seen in my entire life, the Las Vegas Raiders are now in the playoffs beating uh, the Chargers in overtime. This, of them being the playoffs, it throws a wrench into this whole process. And why is that? Well, if the Raiders had lost... Harbaugh would have been able to have conversations above the table with the Raiders uh, and their owners Mark Davis, who he's got a long relationship with that family going over 20 years. But now that they've won the game, they're in win this win the Super Bowl mode if they can, right? Not many people obviously think they will, but they're going to try and win a game, go on the road this weekend and beat the Bengals. And if their head coach you know, wins that game, it'd be a tough, tough uh, look if, if, if you know, roots, you know, reports are out there. Hey, our ownership group has been talking to a college football head coach about replacing you while you're trying to get our team ready for the NFL playoffs this weekend. So I think the Raiders got to take a step back and say, listen, Jim, we, there's been, always been leaks in these things. We can't talk to you until our season's over. We got to give this guy a chance who took one of the crazier seasons with uh, a player getting a DUI and a crash and killing someone, firing a head coach. This interim guy got us to the playoffs, won four straight games in the, the year. We can't be involved in conversations with you. So with these being the NFL jobs that are available, as of right now, filming right around 1 o'clock Eastern on Monday, the Raiders, 
the Bears, and the Dolphins. I ranked those at the top because I think that's kind of the order of likelihood of where Jim Harbaugh would go with those teams if he were to take an NFL job. Then you've got the Denver Broncos who made the decision yesterday because they played on Saturday against the Chiefs. The Minnesota Vikings fired their head coach after eight years, and then the Jags, that job's been open since they fired Urban Meyer after 13 games about a month or so ago. So those six head coaching jobs, uh, what we're hearing, rumors, the Giants, maybe, probably not, they're going to keep their coach. Uh, looks like those would be the six available right now. I think the top three are the ones you have to be concerned about, the Raiders, the Bears, and the Dolphins. The Dolphins mostly because the Stephen Ross thing, look, he said he doesn't want to be the guy to take Harbaugh away from Michigan, but do you think if an AFC, uh, fellow AFC team like the Raiders is going to make him an offer, he's not going to say, wait, whoa, Jim, 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 I, I don't want you to leave Michigan, but if you're going to, come over and coach my Dolphins. I think that's probably plausible, and I think Stephen Ross would be doing his team and uh, his players a disservice if he didn't go after a coach like Harbaugh, if Harbaugh himself was uh, making the decision to go to the NFL. So I want Jim Harbaugh to stay at Michigan. I think he turned it around. He surprised everybody. He made the changes that were necessary on the coaching staff, the support staff, and I think he needs to... Uh, uh, you, know, you need to get the support with NIL and transfers from the university to stay. And if he does, he will remain as Michigan's coach. So type go blue if you're with me, if you want Harbaugh to stay at Michigan after a 12-2 and season, Big Ten championship, beat Ohio State again, and has won the, uh, won the Big Ten and went to the college football playoff. All right, we're going to wrap up the show here, folks. Want to make sure you guys are reminded. Let's get to 20,000 subscribers. I don't want it takes, you know, in the offseason, Things take longer because there's not as much interest on a day-to-day -day basis in a team that's not playing. So let's get to 20,000, let's just say, by signing day in February. Let's not like let it take like two months or something like that. So subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Send it to a friend. Say, yo, subscribe to the Michigan Football Report, youtube.com slash Michigan TV. If anything breaks today on Monday, we'll be back with another video. If not, we'll see you with more Michigan football news and rumors, most likely tomorrow. Go Blue.